You know, Cosmos Gold Farm is great and all, but I think I can do a little bit better. Today I'm going to be building what I'm going to call the Gold Torrent. So anyway, what I'm going to hopefully be doing in this episode is tear out the rest of this outer ring, put the inner ring on, and have some dogfights with ghasts because somehow, despite my best efforts to stop, stop the spawning, they keep coming up. No idea how, but you know, whatever. I also need to repair that spot because I decided to have a little fun and just found a spot with a ton of pigmen around here and on the other two sides and just smacked one of them and <laughs> watched them all push each other off the edge. It was pretty funny. So for this one I decided I'm actually going to kind of wing it. I didn't look up any tutorials or anything, I just looked up the spawn range and the movement range for mobs which I actually got wrong when constructing this part of the circle which is why I'm cutting off the outer part. So anywhere between there and here will allow mobs to spawn if you're standing at the center of that platform over there. And uh, they'll also be able to move out on this ring over here. They can spawn and they will spawn, but the problem is they basically the game is saying, oh, they're really far from the player. We can just not calculate their AI, which means they don't move so I can't really farm them unless I use flying machines and that's not how this farm was meant to be used. I just realized why I'm lagging. Yep, that would be a reason. Let's do some cleanup. The nice thing about working on a farm like this is that uh, as you're building it, if your tools need to get repaired, you just punch one of the pigmen, and when they all run towards you, they get angry. When they get angry, they're guaranteed to drop XP when they die, so then you just mine out the blocks under them, and you get a shit ton of XP. Like, I'll just kill this one right here. The other ones can't get to me. It did drop a little bit of XP, but not as much as we're going to find when we go down there. One more friend coming along. Oh! Dogfight time! Never mind. So, now we can show the XP. Just drop those guys down there. Nothing should have died around here, so should be easy enough to show the XP here. Yeah. So you know that old adage about not painting yourself into a corner? <laughs> may, have, uh, may have just done that. <laughs> Wonder how hard it would be to make this job interesting. So I'm wondering if you could like put some well, action music over it or something <laughs> and actually just make it at the very least funny, but I can't think of a way to do it. So, yeah. Dang it, I did it again! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. oh. <laughs> thought it was like Chris Angel for a second there. Oh, wait, that one needs to. <laughs> that one needs to stay. I thought I was almost done. Apparently I still have another, you know, another third of the circle to go. Making progress. A lot faster than building it, to be sure. Oh, this dude just about gave me a heart attack. A large slime, or a large magma cube just dropped from above while I was picking up this stuff on the ground. <laughs> Landed on top of me. <laughs> Man. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, okay, one spawned. 
Where did it spawn? It spawned right over here. I think it was actually on my little island. Oh, get off that one. That one has buttons that can't be broken. Hey. Man, I'm missing a lot of buttons over here. I wonder if that was because of a gas pipe. I have quite a few of those since I started working on this. <laughs> here comes another one. Oh, I missed. Okay. There we go. It only took 20 shots. Holy shit. And it thinks it's time for a little fun. <laughs> break a little spot here. Alright. Fun time. <laughs> Boy, what needs repairing the most? I'm going to say probably my shovel. It occurs to me that I never said that I made it on top of the bedrock. Huh. Yeah, uh, I, I, I made it on top of the bedrock in the nether. Yeah. Wow, that did a lot. I jumped down, and I activated my elytra, and glided, but then I just somehow took seven hearts of damage. That was really weird. Okay. Guess that was lag. And those are the last few blocks. Aha! Very nice. That might just be the thumbnail. <laughs> Probably not, because I'm hoping to get this done before I start editing this video, but you never know. Alright, time for the first informal test. Stand in the AFK spot. I guess it's not really AFK because you can't AFK this farm. Wow, that was a failure. Alright, first test. There we go. Should all come towards me and end up on one of these two spires. Only one of them currently has a method of disposal that's actually somewhat decent, and it's a trap door right now, so. I'm angry again. They seem to have forgotten about me. Oh, a little bit of a dead spot there. That's not good. Ah, uh, yes. Quite nice. Now, it's time to make the collection and killing area. Honestly, no idea how I'm gonna do it. First things first, I should probably- Ooh, oops, oops, oh. Well, I'm glad I started recording. <laughs> Alright. Okay, not too far away. Perhaps I should show you guys how to get there. Alright, I have to swim. Alright. I will show you guys how to get there. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Huh. Oh, yep. Okay. Nothing like a good crunch on the knees in the morning. Get the blood pumping. Alright, so you start off at the Guardian Farm here. Oh, that's right. This is like way away from it. Never mind. Oh, that's a cast. Oh, yeah. I was saying that the danger bridge is sketchy when you're walking across it. This is what I meant by it's sketchy. Now I can see land at least. Oh yeah! It occurs to me that it has been a really long time since I've had time to record. 
I've had time to play, but not time to record. So I've gotten quite a bit done, mainly in one large project, but uh, yeah, I should show you what that project is. Luckily, it's on the way. That is the way to get to the new farm, and this is the way to the project. I give you the hyper smelter. Why is my arm flailing around? So most of it is a bamboo farm. It's completely automatic though. You just throw the stuff you want to smelt in there. You can tell it to turn on and off. Uh, I guess it's not completely automatic because you still have to tell it when to fuel because I figure if you don't then it'll cause a bunch of lag like it is now. Bringing my frames down to 30. 26, 28, yeah, it's, uh, fueling the system causes quite a bit of lag, and it's also very loud. <laughs> Let me show you what's back here, though. Essentially, there's a minecart here that gets released when you turn the machine on, man, that's a lot of lag, and when it gets released, it comes down and runs over the top of all 120 of these furnaces to give it its items, and then if it's if it still has items in it, it cycles again, which does waste a little bit of time, but if it's empty, it goes back up and gets filled by the, uh, by the chest again. Then the items that come out of the furnaces are split into groups of 20 because that's the maximum amount that a hopper can carry in a 10 second time period, and then they get dropped down into the central water stream that goes off into a uh, storage area, which I'll show you in a second. The, uh, the fuel... Hmm. The fuel generation happens above us. Like, there's a layer of stone, then a layer of rails, then a layer of dirt, then bamboo, and then a flying machine. So, the, there are mine carts with hoppers going along on top of the stone here, and then on top of that is the dirt with the bamboo. So when the flying machine flies, it breaks the bamboo, the hoppers pick it up. You know, basically the same setup I have at home, but on a much larger scale. Uh, once it's collected by the hopper mine carts, they come over here to be unloaded. They all get pushed into a channel over here, which runs over some hoppers that go into some uh, high-speed droppers and chests, and I have those for backup fuel, so if I flip the backup fuel button it pushes this clock together and starts spamming all 12 of these droppers to flood the system with bamboo. Any extra bamboo that isn't collected by the furnaces comes over here and just falls on a cactus to help prevent lag, because entities are not fun lag-wise. I don't have a way to get across here. Hmm. Yes, I do. Normally I'll just take my elytra and fly under that, but I do not have that right now because I died. So then, uh, it sounds like the fueling has finished because the minecarts are just running back and forth without stopping. Because the uh, system here will force the minecarts to stop and stay in place while it's emptying them out. So since they've stopped that must be mean it's okay to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and we can show you the storage area then we'll continue on. And I'm out of food. Very nice. So the storage area, they just come up in a bubble stream to right there, and they come around back and forth over these hoppers here because two hoppers is not fast enough to pick up all the items, and then just in case there's more overflow, they can run back into the bubble stream and go over the hoppers a second time or a third time until they either despawn or are picked up. Stop picking up that bamboo. Oh yeah, and I got a key. So I'm going to first off set my spawn. I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I was testing out the uh, the smelter. That's where I got all the packed or the smooth sandstone. 
I don't think I have an ender chest over here though, so I won't be able to get more food until I get back to where I died. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, let's go and get our stuff back. This thing is a pain to walk down. It's great with a boat, but it's, it sucks to walk down because if you try to jump it, it, it's really difficult to stay on top of the ice. If you decide to walk it, it just takes forever to move back and forth around it. So I'll let you know when I get to the other end. Almost there. And I've made it. Now I am still in the nether, so you may be wondering why I'm going through another portal. It's because I have to get on top of the nether and I don't want to use ender pearls. So what I did was I set up a portal here that leads to the overworld and then a ladder that goes up to a portal that leads back to the nether, but the one that's up here leads to the nether above the bedrock. So it's kind of like, uh, have you guys ever seen a video explaining uh, Mega Curie, the video game that's coming out sometime soon, hopefully, or maybe it's already out? It's a video game based around fourth dimension stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like that, walking around the bedrock instead of, uh, <laughs> instead of trying to go through it. Yeah, so here we are. Now where did I... Oh, there, there I died. <laughs> hmm. They aren't spawning quite as much as I think they should be. Oops. Another wonderful shot by Erroneous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hit him. There we go. I'd say it's a pretty successful venture as far as building a farm goes. <laughs> yeah, they really aren't spawning, are they? Kind of makes me wonder if I should make more layers or something. I wonder if they're having trouble spawning up here because they're spawning a bunch down below. That could definitely be the case. I'd like to get it. I'd like to get the spawning worked out before I go into uh, into the killing chamber too much. There's one way to find out. Let's go down here. And we'll make some poke holes in the lower part of the nether to see if there are any caves. I bet she can get way out here. There literally is not land within sight. Get a screenshot of the lonely chicken. I don't think I have any name tags. That would be a fun. Little guy to just keep around. Oh well. Hopefully he doesn't despawn. I might have to build something here. This is a kind of cool little area. Good news. The lonesome chicken is still here. Think of a name for that guy. See if I can get him a name tag. Put it down in the comments if you got one good. Alright, a couple things I need to do while I'm up here. I got the ender chest. And I know that my Y value is 169. So now I should be able to calculate where I need to, uh, like the, the distance down in the area that I need to spawn proof to prevent spawns. I'm probably just going to do a simple calculation with a cylinder as opposed to an actual sphere because uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have made a serious error. A serious, serious error. 
This entire thing is built too low. 127 blocks is the range in which things can spawn and then won't despawn immediately. So if my y value is 169, I have to spawn proof everything above y40 unless I move this up higher. I think I'm going to move it up higher out of those two options. Well, that sucks. I just finished. Oh well. Alright, it took me an absolutely enormous amount of time because of the gas problems. I could not get them to stop spawning. But I have now. And this thing seems to work pretty well, actually. Oh, I'm not... Shit. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's embarrassing. Uh, I guess I'll just fill that in really quickly and be right back. Okay. I think it is fixed now. And we should be good, yeah. yeah you may notice that my, uh, <coughs> my number of levels has gone up quite a bit. In the last test that I ran of this thing, before it was finished, I went up by four levels from level 40 in a single run. I've also gotten quite a bit of gold. Like, almost as much as we've gotten from the golden shower in its entire lifetime, just during construction. <laughs> so basically what you do, you just stand in here and throw out a trident or a snowball or something make them all mad. I have not built a collection system yet, but it doesn't seem to need it so far. You can get the Enderman too if you want, but the Enderman can teleport I think to here and there, so you gotta be somewhat careful. Whenever they stop running you just throw another one and uh, get them mad again. Okay, I think that is all of them. Yeah, that's all the angry ones, so. Now we'll just drop on down and see what we got. All right, we're already starting to hit some XP that's stuck on the ladder. Here we go. That was much less than five minutes because a lot of this rotten flesh was actually from an earlier test. Honestly, not much else to do here other than the collection system. Once I do that, I'll just invite the guys over here and show them around. Alright, I think I'm going to build the collection system here. It's just below the, uh, the main area. Because I figure you don't want to go too far to collect your drops. So maybe if I were to have uh, just like pathways for them to walk around that would lead to a single killing chamber where we can just crush them. That could work. Alright. So hopefully this will funnel them all into one spot right here because they're going to try and get closest to the player when you come down here to kill them. And then if all... Uh, it's not symmetrical. Also, I didn't make it so I can take people from the sides. But the idea is they'll just come in here and die from cramming damage for the most part. Like, there will still be some that you have to kill manually, but that is the hope. Let me just fix this real quick and I'll be right back. Well, uh, I was on the gold farm, and I tried to fly to get back inside because I was outside working on it, and all of a sudden I couldn't find anything, and now I am lost on the roof of the nether. This might be interesting. I'm going to have to look back through the footage, see if I can find a spot where I had my F3 screen open. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Okay, I've found a bit of footage with my coordinates in it. And it looks like I need to go that way. And this way. About in that direction, I think. 
No. That way. Okay, wait a minute. Which way am I going? Yeah, this way. Definitely this way. That way. My goodness. <laughs> hey! Ah. Uh. There has to be a better way to be able to find this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and try out the, uh, the new chamber. Step right up, everybody! Well, it's definitely catching them, so that's good. I'm hearing ouch noises. Oop, other one. So I just have to go over here. And if all goes to plan, we should all funnel into this one spot. Seems that uh, they're having absolutely no trouble coming down here as long as I give them a whack and then stand still. Of course, they want to show me up. I mean, I got, I got all this from one run, and I just can't get them angry. Ooh. Maybe if I go up top and make the next batch angry. There we go. That sounds better. Yeah, here they come. I have not installed a hopper yet, so currently I still have to close the trap door to grab their drops, but that's a pretty trivial matter. It's not the best as far as XP farms go, but it's pretty good as a gold farm. Now that I can see that red bar on their eyes, they can see me, so they actually get mad again and draw the rest in. Storage area down here is very simple, it just has hoppers. Looks like it's actually missing some of it, which is suboptimal, but not horrible. Just go ahead and throw that in, and we'll see what kind of stuff we got out of this. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot of swords. I'm gonna have to make a, an auto smelter that just gets rid of the swords. Looks like the hoppers are having some trouble keeping up, actually. <laughs> That's a good sign. Oh, but now I can't get the experience. Hmm. Can the babies actually fit in a one block gap? That is a question. Let's see if the babies do fit in a one block gap. Gonna come and get me? Oh, cause that, oh, he thinks it's a full set of two blocks because of the top slab and the bottom slab. Very nice. Let's see what our haul is. A lot of rotten flesh. Oops, that's not the right button. Got quite a bit of gold here. And the lever from the thing I destroyed. Let's see how much gold that is. Oh, that's not, ah, that's... They really need to fix that bug with the elytra. Eh, I guess they actually are. Now that I think about it, they said they are going to fix it in 1.16. Man, I really need to get a sweeping edge sword for this. Okay, so, uh, fun fact. Apparently, if they get too crowded in here, they can start falling off and landing up here by the, uh, in the storage room, and can then start hitting you, so that's not, uh, it's not great. Let me grab some slabs and try to prevent them from getting up there. There is a thunderstorm in-game right now, and 
I don't think I've ever seen a legitimately made charged creeper, except that time with uh, Ross when he made one or two and then tried to get them to kill each other to get a creeper head or a skeleton head or something. At least I'm assuming that's what he was doing. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make one. Guess I need to find a creeper first though, huh? Aha! Uh -huh. I have found a target. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some skeleton heads. Hmm. I get the feeling I'm not going to get a skeleton head from that. <coughs> can I get one of them to blow the other up? Oh! Oh! I got the creeper to kill him! Oh, what? Ah, I was totally shielding that. You guys saw that. That was 100% lag. Alright. Back I go. That was over by Sarah's base, so it's not too far. Come on. Nope. Bad skeleton. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Add a pants that to. Okay. I'm decently set up. I still don't have some of my stuff though, so I'm going back. Got full armor, but no shield. There's one of the things I was missing. There's another. Oh dear. Okay, I need food. Um, here we go. Everything. That might have been everything. Let me get airborne and I'll find out. Oop. Come on, there we go. Okay. So let's see here. Got that. Got those two. Got my rockets. Okay, well, I've definitely got everything important. Alright. And, I think, yeah, I got a skeleton skull. <laughs> very nice, very nice indeed. Well, with that proof of concept out of the way, I think we're ready to move on to the next phase of our plan. But let's uh, let's wait on that for a little while. <laughs> Haven't told you guys about this because I just found out about it while recording this episode. But uh, I have found a really cool mechanic for a farm, and I am planning on using it rather soon. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, why don't you consider leaving a like? You can or you cannot, either way, I don't really care too much. If you really enjoyed, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss anything that we do here on the server. If you didn't enjoy, dislike, don't like it, I don't really care. Whatever boats your float. Have a wonderful rest of your good day guys, and I will see you next time.